Yo, KP Sky here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to what we're going to do, which is going to be experiment with clipping. If you haven't seen the last video that I made um, on Monday or Tuesday, I made a video about clipping, what clipping was, how to address it, what problems it causes you. And now we're going to watch me actually set my amplifier gain so that I do not have clipping. So we're going to use my car as an example. And we're using the DD1 from SMD. This is a distortion detector. This is going to tell us when our amps are clipping, but we're going to do it differently. So if you guys are familiar with SCAR Audio, their SKV2 series of amplifiers come with clipping indicators on their their bass knobs and some other manufacturers do too so if you're not sure what I'm talking about this is the bass knob that you get for the SCAR SKV2 2500.1D it has a clipping light indicator that tells you when you are clipping during music playback or whatever you're doing so we're gonna test and see how accurate that is so we have the SMD DD1 here that's also gonna tell me when I distort I have set up a second camera in the front and so we're gonna slowly set our gains and we're gonna see which one says that I'm distorting first. We're gonna trust this one as my ultimate decision maker of when I'm distorting, but we're gonna see how accurate that um, bass knob is with detecting clipping and distortion. So if, again, if you haven't seen my clipping video, I talked about what it is, how bad it is in your system and how to get rid of it. And we're gonna right now see how accurate clipping indicators are on the bass knob. So let's go ahead and do it. So I've already done the head unit already for time purposes, but what you want to do for your head unit is set it to flat because depending on how good or bad your head unit is, you may get distortion from the head unit itself before it even reaches your amplifier. So you want to fi figure out the max volume you can put on your amplifier before it distorts itself. And then you can set your gains from there. So for me, I've already done that. And I can turn mine up to just about all the way max, which is 40, but I'm going to leave it down at 37 just to be safe. Now, now that I know that my max volume is 37, we can now go ahead to the amplifier and figure out what their max gain can be before we get distortion. So using what we know, we know that 37 is the highest volume I can have on a head unit and I can turn my subwoofer up to 18 before I get any distortion. So with that information given, we can now go back to the SMD here and we're gonna start the camera on the other end. So we're gonna be able to see the base knob. We'll start that camera here. There we go. And then we're going to look at the base knob or the SMD together and we're going to set our gain. So we're going to see which one turns on first. And again, we're going to go by this one. So let me get my screwdriver in here. It's kind of dark. Here we go. Let's see which one distorts first. There we are. So we have distortion right there. We're going to back it off ever so slightly. And there we are. We are set. Now we can see on the base knob there that we're flashing. We have distortion according to the bass knob, but according to the SMD, we do not. So let's ever so slightly edge up the gain a little bit. There we go, cut it back. So that's, oh, we're still a little high, still a little hot. Let's see if I can get my screwdriver back in there. There we go. So my amplifier set based off the max volume there. Max volume on the bass knob, max volume on the amplifier. Let's take one more look. There we are. No distortion there. I have distortion there. So, looks like the DD1 and the bass knob are pretty accurate. It's a little ahead of it, just a tad bit ahead of it there. So, I'm going to have to learn to ignore that light. But according to the DD1, we're set. So, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. That's how you're going to set your gains on your amplifiers, especially if you're using aftermarket head units. Um, you can put these directly to their speaker terminals. That's how I have them set up now. They're directly input to the speaker terminals of my amplifier. You want to play a 40 hertz test tone for your subwoofers. You want to play a 1,000 kilohertz or 1,000 kilohertz um, test tone on the door speakers or whatever kind of high amplifier you have there but that's pretty much how you're going to set your gains and you can see that bass knobs at least from scar and ct sounds they're very accurate it's just a slight bit ahead but not by much so guys that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think of bass knobs with clipping indicators are they accurate do you think they're really accurate or not what do you guys think of this video based off the results leave me a comment down below also hit me with that like button and subscribe if you're not already we'll see you guys in the next one okay guy out Peace.